Okay, at least I can see the map now. Now that we finally found the caves. I uh, still gotta kill a bunch of them too. He's not going to come back this way? I thought he was going to come back. Not yet, I guess. <laughs> yeah, not at all. There, bud. <laughs> Punch them right in the face. Come on, I'm right next to him. Why can't I knock him out? <laughs> a freaking air assassinated him from like a little rock. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, let's use this again. I guess I gotta take them all out, so. Let's get this farthest one. Actually, you know what? I might actually have to go that way afterward, so. We'll save him for last. Oh no! I think I killed him with the sword. I don't think I used my fists. Oh well. So much for being non-lethal against these dudes. Right? Yep. I messed up. Oh well. I tried. <laughs> it was a mistake on my part there. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Look at this guy just sitting at the campfire, not suspecting anything. Then he gets choked out as if I was Batman. <laughs> oh man, just clothesline that guy around the corner. Clear the last jungle, okay. So my bad, I killed one of those guys. I'm sure I'm sure they can forgive me. More guys hanging here. I don't see any dudes around here. Oh, I'm not even in the area yet. Now I am. 
<laughs> are there any of them over here? Yep, there certainly are. Let's get that chest down here. Double cutlass. I don't know. I don't want to kill these guys, though. <laughs> I kind of like knocking them out. It's kind of funny. By the way, what's up, uh, Smurgle? I don't think I've ever seen you uh, before on the stream. So thanks for watching, man. How do I get up there? Oh wow, look at these, uh, like stone pillars. Oh shit, is this, um, this is the people that came before, right? The aliens? This is their artifacts. I could, I remember it from Assassin's Creed 3. This is like what their stuff looks like. Those type of structures. Right? Pretty sure. Yeah, freedom cry. Yeah, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. Oh shit, this guy's This guy's about to kill me. What the fuck? <laughs> I couldn't even move. <laughs> this guy's friggin' pro friggin' phase sniper. Friggin' Oh my god. Ah, you see uh, the handiwork of men born Well, I didn't even get this uh, little cutscene before. Yeah, I didn't get that dialogue. <laughs> How long has that kind been here? He's not gonna answer me. Oh, at a thousand years or more. Dedicated men, very deadly. Huh. All right. Hopefully, we don't get killed by that freaking phase native sniper there. Friggin the, he's the OG phase. Hundreds of years ago, there was a native who was excellent at sniping with uh, blow pipes. He became the inspiration for the phase clan. <laughs> I didn't even know this guy was here. the double swords once. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully I don't get killed by this guy up here again. I'm just being retarded, I guess. I don't know how he freaking killed me with that blowtorch. Or blow a pipe. Blowtorch. Oh, which guy was it, anyway? It wasn't that one. It was someone over there. So I'm gonna go ahead over there first. Get over here. Oh, yeah, you can't snipe from that close range. I guess you're not good at quick scoping. Not like I thought you were. There we go. <laughs> that was, uh, wait a minute. What? You see that? It just got hurt somehow. Alright, so I guess um, they weren't as good as I thought they were at sniping. <laughs> now let's check out this viewpoint on top of these ruins here. There should still be one dude here somewhere, too.
let's see him. Maybe he's in inside these ruins here. I thought that was a door. It looked like it was a door, but it's just it's blocked off. There he is, I see him. Okay, follow Roberts. Is this the observatory? All this. Why is it his blood anyway? All right, I guess we're gonna see some alien things here. I'm gonna connect a little bit more to the previous games. I don't know what. Oh yeah, look at that. Yards. What? Jesus, Roberts! Have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this gate. But you... <laughs> I suspect you're made of sterner stuff. Oh, he's insane. He freaking killed everybody. Now, pick up that chest and carry it hither. <laughs> I drew my way. A uh, gun on him, too. Freaky. <laughs> he's good at sniper, too. No, he's good at shotgunning. From freaking close range. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> Got all those gas. Say hello to my little friend. Dirty and decrepit. Not quite as I remember. But it has been over 80 millennia. Ah, rot. That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice. I must say, I'm quite taken by this new vocation of mine. And it may amuse <clears throat> you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. A creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. Sensible. And punishable by death if disobeyed. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it? Awesome. Aye. It's like something out of a fairy tale or one of them old poems. There were many stories about this place. One I don't know if this. I wonder if this is the same one that Desmond was in in Assassin's Creed Three. It looks like it. Of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. More blood vials. Yes. These cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. The blood in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It may be again one day, but not in this evening. Here we are. Place the chest. Oh, wow, somebody, somebody's skull is in the middle of that. You see that? Huh. What's that noise? Ah, oh, yes. A security measure. Just a moment. There we are. Okay, now so what? What is this place? Think of it as a large spyglass, such as we sailors carry. A device capable of seeing great distances. I was putting the cube in the skull. This is bloody witchcraft. No, this is Mr. Jack Rackham, somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA. This is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. Aye. 
I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. It ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight with a cock glass like? And maybe That's a um, kid and somebody. All that and more. But you have to want it and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Hey! That's my last you're making love to. You lay off or I catch ya. Up your ass, Rackham. Glad's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad? A curious bunch. <laughs> what? Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers. This is like <laughs> kid or whatever his uh, female name is. Flirting with some girl or something? I don't know <laughs> what that was exactly. You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple oh, the Templars. drum of blood taken from the field, that's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the king against those revolting Jacobites. Yes, indeed. Oh, these Templars. And the crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. Well, too bad I'm there already, right? Because <laughs> that's why it's called the observatory, because it, it can observe people and what they're doing. Precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so. Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. Oh, such ambition. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so much for that. There is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role. But our partnership is done! I guess he wants it for himself. So I guess he's not with the Assassins or the Templars. Alright, find a way out. He's just out for his own, uh... His own gain, I guess? I don't know. Because Ad Wale, he wanted us to work with the Templars. I mean, with the, with the Assassins. And obviously this guy's not with the Templars, because he was spying on them and stuff, so... I don't know. A little jumping puzzle here, I guess. Get up through this way. Up here, I guess. Back to the uh, pedestal where he knocked me off. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to fight. It's telling me to select some weapons, so. I guess I am. Looks like an arena almost. Like there's all chairs and stuff here. Ah, that's where I gotta go. Okay. So I gotta get up on this stuff over there somehow. Start from here maybe. Oh yeah. I see it. Just climb around this thing. To back it checked. Let's <laughs> jump backwards, basically. Oh wait, hold R R two. I really had to do much of that in this game. There's not so much uh, platforming in this like there is in the uh, other Assassin's Creed games. 
there's a lot more of this. There was like temple, like secret temples and like tombs to discover and stuff like that. And you always had to like do these jumping puzzles to like get through them, especially like the ones with Ezio, like Assassin's Creed 2 and Revelations and Brotherhood. There was a lot of that in those games. Alright, I guess we found a way out to the lush jungle here. Sliding down this hill. <sighs> Alright, back to the beach. This is my crew? Or is it. Who is it? Survive. What? I, I'm gonna have to fight all these dudes? Probably then, right? Or just make it to them? Maybe it is my crew. They're just gonna help me out. He, he had a freaking rock or something in his, his side. He's bleeding out. Hey guys, hello. Do you guys see me over here? Robots! Oh, I do have to fight them. Okay, <laughs> that didn't last too long. That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh, have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison boy? Yeah, and while he was right, I should have uh, enlisted the Templars to help me out here. Okay, so uh, chapter 10's complete. Looks like Edward's in a sticky situation now here. He's uh, this gas prisoner. The Sage. My elusive fortune. Alright, chapter 10 is done. Oh, I'm backing up Sturgo. Oh, what the hell? I'm all blurry. Drugged out. What's going on? Huh. Hello? How are you? If you're anxious, that'll pass. It's the Medazolum. I'm sorry about this, but we've had so many security breaches, we were forced to take drastic action, and... for Chicago two days ago, but no one's seen him since. I know this seems excessive, but with our high-level security clearance, we have an obligation to our shareholders. Rest assured, we will compensate you when hackers found. Too bad I'm the hacker. So get some rest, okay? And if you're up to it, maybe capture some more footage? You're doing amazing work. I can't wait to show you the work we've been doing with your stuff. Take care. All right, so they got me in prison here. <laughs> so, they tossed you in the bunker. Nice. Those Templars upstairs aren't taking any chances. I think we need to erase all the dirt they might have on you. Okay, that sounds good. Did you hear that? <laughs> I think I just gave you level 3 security clearance. Now, head to the security room and use the cameras to watch the door to the server phone. Unfortunately, Melanie's in there now. So when I escort her out, that's when you make your move. I'd wipe these servers myself, but as the head of IT, I'd be a suspect. It has to be someone they've already locked up. Okay. Head of IT, that sounds like oh, a good job. These Templars. They run our lives, you know. Uh, they decide election. They control very... market and they inject us with little microchips to track our movements and read our thoughts it's all very scary <laughs> so i don't know i guess the um desmond's friends are still fighting the templars here i just want to know uh, what, the hell are you doing? This what is happened to the uh to, to the god that they released or not the god but like look at what's this guy doing 
Is he in the Animus? Is it like a mobile Animus? Oh man, he's got the he's got the Oculus Rift or the PlayStation. Um, what the hell is it? The Project Morpheus. He's got it early. He's beta testing it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm I'm curious to see like I could hack this. I don't really care. All right, fine, I'll do it. Just see what it is. Oh, this is a no, oh, no. Is this a new game? No, it's the same thing, right? Just keep doing this until I find the right area. This is a harder one. Let's keep moving around until I find it, right? Or if I could get to this one over here. I just... No. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, uh, it teleports me? There. Oh, wait, there we go. That's it right there. I thought those things were going to make me uh, fail, like an alarm or something. Alright, I did it. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Alright, forget about hacking now. That wasn't even anything cool, it was just like a little historical thing. Alright, let's just keep moving here. I do really want to see, uh, wait, is it not this way? How this, uh, plays into events from the third game. Because if that, I don't know, if that lady Minerva is trying to take over the world, I don't see how, uh, any of this could be possible. Right, I'm entering the server room now. But, when you see a whatever, we'll see. There. Hack the camera control panel. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what hacking minigame this one's going to be. Uh, it's like the wave thing. Right, so i got to basically make it look like how it does there. Now that one looks right. So seven. That looks right too. So does that. Oh, wow, that's like right on the money. There we go, got it. <laughs> Microphone. There's no need for you to be down here by yourself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. Uh, this is the IT guy, right? He's been talking to me, I think. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for. Even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? 
My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scouts on her. Coffee's on me, okay? Okay, now I gotta go to the server room. Hack the cloud server. These guys are up on the latest technology, using that cloud. Alright. 